Brody, because Humberto just upgraded to a hurricane here uh, as of 5 a.m. And we still have that high chance out here towards Hispaniola uh, moving across the Turks and Caicos into the Bahamas. That could be called Imelda. Right now it's labeled 94L. It is still a kind of developing area here, really kind of disrupted over the mountains. So the, the, the big thing is that now that Humberto is a hurricane, and it's not only where it is right now, but it's expected to become a major, maybe even a cat for a hurricane off towards east. The stronger Humberto is, the better it is for us here on the first coast. And let me explain why, because both of these storms are going to be a little bit too close together uh, to they're, they're going to interact with each other. So you don't really want to look at them individually. You look at them together in tangent and Humberto pulling off here towards the north could become that strong storm. The stronger it gets, it almost could kind of grab it and pull it towards the northeast. And that's why you see how tight this is. Look at just the looseness in the models to this area towards the uh, west, which could become Melda. Um, and even stalls out with a lot of the guidance and kind of pulls it back towards the east, pulling towards that storm system. The good news, all of it keeps it offshore of the first coast, but more of a problem for the Carolinas. Regardless, a little too close for comfort for us here in Jacksonville, though, because we are going to see some rain bands, some big waves coming in off of this, and uh, even some rough surf. So there's plenty to watch here. As we go ahead through Sunday, Monday to Tuesday, that's when we'll be passing uh, just towards our east. A uh, big wave maker, by the way, coming out of it. So our surfers are going to be wanting to watch out for that. Still